Keď si spájaš svoj život proste s týmto mestom, vieš, tá predstava je, uh, že tá budúcnosť je tu. Good morning everyone. I'm very happy to welcome you here at Place Conference, which is final conference of one really interesting project called Košice 2.0. It's super important that we build a community and participation and we looked at it from different perspectives. Konferencia je takou vizitkou alebo komunikačným frameworkom, kde jednak informujeme o tom, čo projekt priniesol alebo ešte prinesie alebo čo môže byť jeho dedičstvom a do toho sú zasadené prezentácie speakerov, ktorí každý s nejakou časťou tém alebo problémov, ktoré riešime v rámci Košice 2.0, ako by operuje, či je to strategický rozvoj na úrovni byrokracie. Some cities have always been creative. The difference between then and now is that cities self-consciously are saying, we have to have a creativity and innovation strategy. That movement started probably 30 years ago when the industrial fourth industrial revolution started and many companies and industrial sectors moved to Asia and cities and countries said, what have we got? So Košice needs to attract people to come to it or talented people to stay. Because what is happening is many people are moving to Bratislava or to Prague or abroad. And in the last 10 years, Košice has lost 10,000 population. So there's a series of issues to become attractive for talented people who think this is an interesting place is one thing. Secondly, to actually change the fabric of the city in ways that makes it look interesting. So how you see those two approaches? Is there any difference? Interventions are created in combination with some support from above. Uh, nejaký framework alebo stratégia alebo iniciatíva mesta, ktorá vlastne umožňuje tým iniciatívam, ktoré prichádzajú z dola, aby sa vedeli vyznať vlastne v tom legislatívno-regulačnom prostredí. Mesto by malo prísť s nejakými šikovnými, efektívnymi mechanizmami na to, aby vedelo aktivovať obyvateľov v rámci pobytového priestoru, verejného priestoru. V našom prostredí, teda v prostredí Slovenska, kde vlastne sme ako keby ešte stále mladá kapitalistická krajina, alebo ako keby sa potýkame s tým fondom tých socialistických sídlisk, potýkame sa vlastne s mnohými modernistickými stavbami, ktoré mesto vlastne nevie manažovať a ktoré ostali prázdne a priestor, verejný priestor okolo nich je vlastne zdevastovaný. Tak práve v tomto prostredí je dôležité začať formovať nejak ten vzťah ľudí k miestu a vidíme mnoho príkladov toho už, ale ak prichádzajú len z dola, tak ľudia Jednoducho po čase nemôžu mať toľko energie ani zdrojov na to, fyzicky, ani časovo, ani finančne, aby tieto veci ťahali ďalej, pretože tieto veci vlastne sú nielen pre nich osobne, ale sú benefitom pre ostatných a pre celé mesto. What I find exciting about data is when I see people who wouldn't normally use data become data users. And everybody is capable of, of generating it. I mean, people generate data all the time anyway, just by using their phones. But, but the difference is that that data then goes to Apple or to Google. It doesn't, it doesn't stay in the locality. And, and actually fostering local approaches to data collection is one of the key things that we like to do. So it's never about the data itself, it's always about what people do with it and it's always about how people use it to, to network themselves better. It's always about smaller bits of data and it's about you know, data that's localised to a very specific place. I would say... Blob. Kushitsa is surprisingly interesting, I would say, yeah. And you may not be satisfied with the description surprisingly interesting, but what that means is you've never heard of Košice, have you? Well, it's surprisingly interesting. Why don't you go there? Maybe it's time to really set uh, high goals and time to think about the city and where we 
would be not in 5, 10 years, but maybe in 20, 30 years. So let's think about the city with 1 million, why not, and what it could, could bring.